80% of individuals go online specifically to look for health information. As we're all getting older, a lot of individuals also fear Alzheimer's disease. So if you're going on the internet to find out more about how to prevent Alzheimer's disease, here are five tips to help you find the highest quality information. Later in the video, my colleague Dr. Lee will tell you about some tips to keep your brain healthy. The first thing to look for is who wrote the information. Are they qualified to do so? Are you able to contact them? Finding out more about the author can help you determine the credibility of the information you're consulting. Another important thing to look for is when was the information written? It's important that you can find a date on the article. Because Alzheimer's disease prevention and treatment are very fast-moving fields, ideally the information is no older than five years old. How is the information presented? Some red flags to watch out for are very strong language with words like cure or guarantee, and also very specific recommendations like you must eat exactly this amount of a given food. A red flag to look for is when the claims are not supported by any form of scientific evidence. An example would be something like, drink apple juice because it boosts the chemicals in your brain. The last thing to look for is why was the information written? Can you tell if there's an ulterior motive? Is the website trying to sell you something? The best information usually comes from websites that don't have any kind of conflict of interest. Here I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep your brain healthy as you age. Exercise is an important part of maintaining good physical and mental health, and it doesn't have to be a lot. But the important part is to keep it interesting. If you mix a little bit of aerobic exercise to get your heart pumping, a little bit of stretching and light weight lifting with work on your balance, this should be an important part of keeping your brain healthy. Eating a healthy balanced diet may also have positive effects with healthy brain function. Consuming natural foods that are high in vitamins and fiber are recommendable, while avoiding foods that are too high in salt, sugars, and saturated fats. Just like other parts of the body, the brain responds to stimulation. Just like we recommend exercise for the body, we also recommend exercise for the brain. But the important thing is to keep it interesting and, importantly, keep it challenging but not frustrating. Your mental and physical health problems can have effects on your brain function and increase your risk for developing dementia, high blood pressure, diabetes, or other medical health issues, especially when not well treated in midlife, can lead to an increased risk for developing dementia downstream. Depression, stress, and anxiety may also play a role in increasing your risk for dementia. So be proactive about your health, seek medical attention when needed, and the important thing to remember is the earlier the better, although it's never too late. We know that head injuries can affect one's brain function, so it's very important to remember that immediately after a head injury, one can have direct effects on memory and concentration, but even over a longer period of time, head trauma, especially repeated trauma, can have effects in terms of increasing your risk for dementia. So buckle up when you're in the car, wear a helmet when you're playing sports, and work on your balance to avoid falls.